What the what the hey, Mega Potastics Crazy Joe coming at you, and may the 4th be with you. Today is May 4th, 2018, Star Wars Day, as the kids like to call it. I gotta be honest with you, for years I resisted the idea of May 4th being Star Wars Day, because all true fans know Star Wars opened on Memorial Day weekend, and I'm like, why are we celebrating uh, a day based on a silly pun, May the 4th? Come on, it's silly. When the real Star Wars Day is just about three weeks from now, because every Star Wars movie, until The Force Awakens, opened on Memorial Day weekend. And I'm happy to say that this year, Star Wars is going back where it belongs on Memorial Day weekend, because Solo, A Star Wars Story, is opening this Memorial Day weekend. And thank God for that, because I've appreciated going to see the Star Wars movies at Christmas time, but that's not really where Star Wars belongs. Star Wars is a summer franchise, always has been until the last couple years. So uh, yeah, I always resisted the whole May the 4th thing, but I decided, you know what? If you can't beat them, you might as well join them because it just seems to be gaining momentum every year. So this year I have totally given myself into it. And hey, not to mix franchises, but we're back at the board cube. I haven't been over here at the board cube for a long time. Anyway, I got my tickets for Solo a Star Wars Story. They went on sale last night. Got my tickets for opening day. Technically, it opens the Thursday night. I got my tickets for Friday because I can't really get out on a Thursday night. I got kids. They got, well, not that they, not that they have school, I guess. My daughter's off that day. I don't know. Thursdays still aren't good. Weeknights aren't good. So, going Friday. But I'm excited about it. Very excited. In fact, I might be more excited about Solo of a Star Wars Story than just about any recent Star Wars movie because I've always said, while well, I've loved Star Wars since I was a little kid, uh, I'm a first generation fan. I saw all three of the originals in their kind of sort of original theatrical run. I say kind of sort of because I saw Empire Strikes Back in its original theatrical run, saw Return of the Jedi in its original theatrical run, but in New Hope, I was one year old. I was one year old when A New Hope came out. So I did not see it in its original theatrical run, but I did see it in its first re-release. So, I consider myself first generation. I've been here since the start, sort of. I was one at the start, but I was here. So, uh, Solo is the movie I'm probably, I've been more excited about this than just about any other Star Wars movie that we've had in recent years. Because as much as I love Star Wars, the Jedi, that's not my favorite aspect of Star Wars. Never has been. I mean, Luke was okay, and Yoda was, was cool, but, like, we really saw it with the prequels. When we saw the prequels, we saw Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan, and the Jedi were kind of a drag. You know, they're, like, stoic and very serious and, you know, oh, the Jedi is not to feel the love, uh, Anakin, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, it's very, very dry. I, I like the more colorful characters. Han Solo and Lando Calrissian were always my two favorite characters. And those kind of more seedy, smuggler type characters have always been my favorite characters in the Star Wars universe. So to get a movie like Solo, where those are the main characters, I'm all on board for that. Really, really excited. You know, I really think that I, as a fan, owe a huge debt of gratitude to the Walt Disney Company because the Walt Disney Company has revived my love of that franchise. I, in the, in the mid-2000s, and I don't hate the prequels like some people hate the prequels, I think that they are the lesser films. Of, of all the Star Wars films we've had, those three prequels are probably the three weakest, but I don't hate episode two and three. I kinda hate episode one. But two and three, I kinda like them. I mean, they got cheesy dialogue, and there's definitely problems with them. They're kind of clunky films. They're not great, but I don't hate them. I do enjoy them to a degree. So uh, by 2005, as much as I did like episode two and three, I was just tired of Star Wars. And when episode three came out, I kind of was like, yeah, I'm ready for this to be put to bed. I'm tired of it. They, 
it's just not the same as it was when I was a kid. It's it's lost something. I, I was feeling what I thought at the time, the popular word was franchise fatigue. And I thought, well, I'm feeling franchise fatigue. I don't think I need any more Star Wars in my life. In fact, my love of the original movies has taken a hit because I'm just kind of tired of this franchise and what these prequels have brought to it and everything. And Well, good 10 years passed and then we got The Force Awakens and I had 10 years to kind of just recover and then The Force Awakens came out and I love that movie so much it was the first Star Wars movie I loved since Return of the Jedi and then Rogue One was really good I think it, Rogue One was as good as The uh, Force Awakens but it, it, Rogue One's a s solid movie and then we got um, The Last Jedi which I think is one of the best Star Wars movies ever made and now we're getting the Han Solo movie, and it's like Disney has kind of wiped away the memory of the prequels. And it's like, I'm excited about Star Wars again, and I have been for a couple years now. And I gotta thank Disney for that. It's like Disney saved this series from its own creator. There's a truck, I don't know if it's, is that too loud? I don't know. There he is, he's being noisy. I don't know. If I, I'm going to assume you can hear me okay. So, so there we are. I have turned myself over to the dark side, and I will say, may the fourth be with you, and I do love this franchise again. My, my, my love has been revived. It's like, I feel like a kid again when these movies come out, and it makes me happy. Uh, so, so yeah, can't wait to see Solo, and I hope you have a happy May 4th, and... You know, if you could find the time, because I won't find the time. Trust me, I will not find the time. I'm just too busy. I would like to sit down and watch one of the movies today. It's not going to happen, but it would be nice. Besides, I still got uh, I still got five episodes of Cobra Kai to watch. So if I get home and get to watch any TV tonight, I'm going to be catching up on Cobra Kai. No, uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe I should do Star Wars tonight. Maybe I should just say Cobra Kai can wait. We'll see. We'll see. I I'll be honest with you. I'm probably going to watch Cobra Kai because I'm invested now. I want to see how it's going to end. If you're not watching, check it out. It's great. And don't worry about subscribing to YouTube Red either. You might be like, well, I don't want to pay to see it. They're offering one month free. You can watch them all because all 10 episodes are up now. And then cancel. Or not cancel. Do what you want but the point is you don't actually have to pay to watch the show because you can get that free trial for the month but i am now rambling and i didn't come on here to talk about cobra kai i came on here to talk about star wars i came on here to talk about solo a star wars story and how excited i am for it and uh and how much i i'm, I'm happy i'm happy that one of the first media franchises that I, I, I ever loved. I'd, I'd say probably the only things I loved as a kid before Star Wars, like media related, were Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I was crazy about Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And then when Star Wars came out and R2-D2 and C-3PO were on Sesame Street, do you remember that? Oh my God, that blew my little child brain. I was like, and I had all the little people, the Fisher Price little people of Sesame Street. So I was putting my Kenner R2 and 3PO. They'd come to Sesame Street and visit all the time after that episode aired in, in my little play world. I mean, they were only on the show one time, but in my uh, in my toy box, R2 and 3PO came back to Sesame Street many, many times to visit. I'll tell you that much. So may the fourth be with you and keep on wearing those pajamas.